Jesus sat down to enjoy a final meal with his followers. They didn't know what was about to happen, but he did. He broke the silence. Tonight, one of you will betray me. His followers, his friends were outraged. I would never betray you, Jesus. It's not going to be me. After dinner, Jesus took his followers out for a walk. They went to a nearby garden and Jesus asked them to wait while he went into a quiet corner to spend some time praying with his Father God. Jesus knew the pain that he would have to go through and this troubled him. Jesus knelt down and began to cry. Pausing to remember why he would have to go through this, he stood to his feet, took a deep breath, the love that his father had for him helped him to stand strong. He went back to his followers and found them asleep. He said, wake up, look, the soldiers are here to take me away. The soldiers led by Judas came to take Jesus away. One of Jesus' followers reacted, drew his sword, tried to hurt one of the soldiers, cut his ear off. Jesus knelt down, picked the ear up, placed it on the side of his face, good as new. Then Jesus was marched to a secret meeting. All of the people that wanted Jesus dead gathered together to accuse him. They put Jesus on trial for as many offences as they could think of, but he didn't answer any of their questions because he hadn't done anything wrong. Then finally they got to the point, are you the king of the Jews? Are you the Messiah? Jesus looked up from the ground where they throw him and answered, I am who you say I am. They'd heard enough. He has to die. It was Jesus' time. They sentenced him to crucifixion. Jesus was taken and beaten, stripped, spat and laughed at. They made a crown of thorns and drove it into his head. They forced him to walk through the streets carrying a heavy cross. The people that he'd come to help, heal and bring life now chose to laugh, mock and spit. Jesus made it to the top of Skull Hill. He was taken, nailed to a cross, hoisted into the air and left to die. Jesus let out a loud scream and breathed his last breath. The guards took Jesus' body down and his followers took it away. They cleaned him up and wrapped him in fresh cloth and placed him in a tomb with sweet smelling oils. They said their goodbyes and rolled a huge stone over the entrance of the tomb. They left shaken, sad and wondering what would happen.